Hello everyone, welcome back to another Adobe After Effects tutorial. This one I'm going to teach you how to make rain. I'm going to make it rain out of nothing. No add-ons, no special uh, downloads, no crazy anything. This is creating rain inside Adobe After Effects with exactly what it comes with. It's pretty wild and we can do it, so let's get started. First thing is you want to get some stock footage. I've got some abandoned car footage that, I don't know, why not? It'll do the trick, so I'm going to drag and drop that into my timeline here, into my project panel. I'm going to drop that onto the composition little icon there, create a composition, and bang, let's take a look at what we got. I'm going to shorten it, because this is a, just a demonstration. So I'm going to shorten it to about two seconds, and here we go. Yep, we got a car on fire, it's smoking, eh, whatever. But we want to add some rain in on this, so let's go ahead and do that. The next step is to create a new layer, layer new Create solid, black solid, drop it on. It does it automatically. Boom. Done. Awesome. Now, you want to go to your window, effects, and presets. I have it open over here. You want to type in something called CC space particle world. Yeah, it's like Jurassic World, but not as cool. Let's drop it on there and see what we got. Boom. We got, well, nothing yet, but you'll see. Hitting space bar. Let me just reduce the size to the length of composition, or whatever. I'm just gonna leave it there for reasons I'll tell you in a second. And hit spacebar, let's see what we got. Boom, fireworks. That doesn't look like rain, you say. I know, but we're gonna get there. Okay, now, inside a particle world, we gotta get to work on this to get it to look like rain. A few things I like to work on. The first thing I work on is I click on the particle world, then I click on particle, and I change the colors of the birth and death of the particles. So right now it's yellow and red like fireworks, we're gonna go for a rain color. I'm gonna say we're gonna start with a light blue maybe. Yeah, let's go like really light and whitish blue. And then we're gonna darken it out a little bit with our death color maybe somewhere around there. I don't know, let's see what that looks like. Space bar, okay, that's kind of rain colored. I don't know, you guys can adjust that as you see fit. All right, there we go. The next thing we want to work on is the producer. Here you go. Drop down the producer. We're going to start adjusting the axes and, and, uh, and the positions. So again, you'll notice that I'm going to start right about here because that, that way you can see it. The X position, where do you want the rain? You want it on the left? You want it on the right? You want it in the middle? I think zero is pretty good. The Y position is important. We want the Y up here because we want the rain to be falling from the top of the sky, naturally. That's how gravity works. So if you do that, okay, you see that we got something going on there. That's kind of what we want. Um, let's just see. I want to move. Okay, I'm going to do that in a second. Okay, and then of course you can always position the Z too if you want it further back in the scene. Uh, you want it further forward in the scene. I'm kind of ambivalent on this, so I'm gonna just, I don't know, I'm just gonna leave it where it started at zero and we'll work from there. All right, birth rate. This is an important one as well. <clears throat> this is how frequently the rain is falling. So if we have a birth rate of zero or 0.1, that's the rain we got, that's it. All right, if we have like this, it's raining crazy. All right, so again, this is up to you guys what you want. I like to keep it pretty low just because I want this to be a subtle effect. So I'm gonna go with say, maybe even that's too much. I'm gonna go with like 0.4, <coughs> excuse me. All right, that's an all right looking rain. Now, the next thing I wanna do is I wanna drag this black solid to the left. And the reason why I'm doing that is because I want the rain to already have started in the scene. So it was raining when the scene began. If you don't want that, if you want to show rain starting, then this is the way to do it. And you can time that as you see fit. But I'm gonna move it so that the rain had already started when the scene began. So let's see how that looks. Okay, rain started. We're getting there, guys. We're getting there. We're still not finished. Okay, so I'm gonna just match them up. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. The longevity is another one that you might want to look at. This is how long the how far basically the the how long each individual particle fires for. It, it defaults at 1 second. And you know what? That kind of looks pretty good, so I'm going to leave it there, but again, you can always adjust that as you see fit. 
Uh, let's see here, what else you could do? Particle line, it's set to line. This is the natural one. But a lot of people use a text, or they use the uh, motion polygon that creates like little triangles falling. It kind of has that rain look. Now, I know that doesn't look realistic, but when you apply a motion blur, or actually a, yeah, basically a pixel a motion blur, it does look pretty good. So um, that's how you create the rain. Now, the next step, I mean, you can always mess around, of course, with different things in here, but I think we've got something that we can work with. The next step is a not straightforward step. You want to go to solo this layer, black solid solo, and we're going to export this layer. And the reason why is because when you apply a blur that we want to apply to it, it doesn't work unless it's already been rendered. So let's just go ahead and add to Adobe Media Encoder queue. All right, here we go. Let's make sure that this is selected to GoPro Cineform RGP 12 with Alpha because we want the Alpha channel. We need the Alpha channel. It's just it's a requirement. I'm going to put this to the desktop and I'm going to call it Rain because I'm original. And now let's quickly just blast through that. There's the Rain rendering in the bottom left there. It's a lot of Rain actually now that I look at it, but whatever. Doesn't matter. Oh, I rendered a little bit too much, but that's okay guys. We can fix that. Um, now it's going to, I'm just going to close that actually. There it goes. It's almost done. Just bear with me one more second. Alrighty then. Click on it and I'm just going to open it here. Drag and drop that into the After Effects project panel right here. Drag it, drop it. Now, this gets a little wonky. I'm going to go ahead and delete that and do that. So I've deleted the file. Let me just do that. Actually, let me explain that. I dropped the rain.mov on top of the black solid. Then I deleted the black solid because I no longer need it. It's gone because we've got a .mov. And I've also removed this solo layer so that you could see kind of what it looks like. Now, here's the thing. I rendered a 13 second version. What I rendered, I should have rendered a short version. But here's where we are so far. Looks okay, but it's not quite right. And you can tell it has a little bit too much of a pixelated look. So we need to apply a blur to it. The blur I like to go with is pixel, uh, what the heck's it called? Pixel blur, da, da, da. pixel motion blur, that's the one. <laughs> I apply pixel motion blur to the rain one here, drop it on top of it. And now let's take a look. It's got a bit of a blur. It looks more organic, a little more realistic. We can go in now and make some further tweaks depending on what you want to go or what you're looking for. I like to reduce the opacity just because I like it to be a more subtle look. So let's say, let's see what 60% looks like. Okay, that's maybe a little bit, you know, maybe we can go a little bit thicker, a little bit more. But okay, that has a nice rainish look. Now, again, you can make some major changes here. In particular, rotation. Where do you want the rain to be coming from? Do you want the wind to be blowing it in? If you, if so, check this out. It's blowing in from the left. Obviously, you could see by the, the polygon here that it's not quite uh, big enough, so you would have to scale it up. But you know what? You got some rain coming in from the side. Maybe that's what you're looking for. I don't know. Totally up to you. Maybe, you know what? You want to scale it up a bit. You want the 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 pixels to look like this. Let's see what this looks like. All right, click off. Come on, Curtis, you knob. That looks like pretty good rain right there. You know what? I think we got a winner. So anyways, guys, these are the things you can do to sort of adjust it. But for a pretty quick tutorial on how to create rain out of nothing, that's a good start, guys. Again, there's other particle emission engines out there that do a really good job, but this is all inside Adobe After Effects. You have to purchase no extra add-ons or anything like that, and you're good to go. I hope this tutorial helps. Look forward to your comments. Check it out.